Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the snapshot of my perfume collection. So as you all know, I went on a no-buy even though I failed. Um, I bought three perfume recently, but I'm still on a no-buy. I think that's going to be my motto for this year. I probably will do some declutter and maybe I'll do one in, one out. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I just... I'm super picky right now, but I want to show you what I have in my perfume collection. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Ollie's mom. So I am a perfume lover. I started getting into perfume like about maybe three years ago, right before COVID. And I decided to start my YouTube channel. So these are the perfume that I currently have. So I think I'm going to go through it with you. So I'm going to start with this. This is my vanilla perfume cabinet. As you could see, I have this Kayali vanilla that I really, really like. This is a basic fruity vanilla with oud. I absolutely adore it. This one I get so many compliments from guys whenever I wear this and the Siach is just beautiful. It doesn't last too long, but nonetheless, people could still smell me. Next, I have Fire at Will. I absolutely adore this. This is a um, amber and vanilla. It smells amazing. It smells like towel a little bit. I absolutely adore it and it lasts a long time. So this is probably one of my longest lasting vanilla in this cabinet with more. So I'll, I'll show you later. This is absolutely my favorite since day one. I used to have a lot more, but this is my last bottle. Um, Alien Essence Absolute. It's a beautiful vanilla, jasmine, myrrh. It's just a deep, resinous sexy vanilla i love it i've been loving it since day one next is this vanilla um, color vanille i absolutely adore this now when i first bought this i thought it will not stay in my perfume collection but it is so unique it is a salty vanilla with a little bit of floral it is a little bit aquatic but it's also salty vanilla it's I just love it. So when I wear it, it leaves such a beautiful sillage. My favorite way of use it is when I spray it all over my hair. I absolutely adore it. Now this is a designer, a cheapie. Used to be a cheapie, but it's now discontinued. This is Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. This is the original, the EDP. I absolutely adore this. So I think even though it's discontinued, this one's still decently priced. This is a green vanilla with with amber. So I'm not a big fan of amber because I live in a super hot climate here in the US, but I like this enough to keep it because it's more like an aura of amber green vanilla. So yeah, absolutely adore it. Um, here is another one that's super hard to find. This is Les Kendu for the Bengal. This one smells very balsamic, vanilla, it's really nice. Um, it reminds me a little bit of a Lune Feline, but without the burn house smell. So next I have this Gorilla Perfume I'm Home. Absolutely adore this. This one, actually I bought Cardamom Coffee and I'm Home. Turns out they smell pretty similar. They both smells coffee and they both smells like burnt coffee. The difference is this one, the coffee is sweeter. It has more syrupy sugar, which I adore. As you all know, I have sweet tooth and cardamom coffee. Coffee is a little bit sour. So that's the difference. I prefer I'm home, so I'm keeping that and I sold the other one. Next, I have this Casa Moradi Lira. I adore this one, but I sometimes have a have a love and hate relationship with Lyra. 
it could get a little bit too, I don't know, like powdery, synthetic-y on me, but on my daughter, it smells amazing. So I still love it. And it is the one perfume that I always wear during a birthday. It's like every time I, it's my birthday or my daughter's birthday, I automatically grab Lyra because I used to own a perfume that I constantly wear when my daughter were baby, but um, oh, fresh cream philosophy, but the longevity was horrible. So I decided to have an association of my daughter with Lyra. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, next, I have this um, perfume called Muscellary Faniglia. I love this. Um, it smells so similar to the one next to it. St. Barth Vanille West Indies. Um, this one projects more. This one's more affordable. This one better bang for the buck because you could get 100 mil for a better rate from um, from Lucky Sun. But between the two, I actually prefer St. Barth. Vaniglia Muscellar is a little bit more molecular. And this one is more syrupy. I absolutely adore this. So yeah. Next, we have this Dior delicious yeah this one I like it it's a chocolate tonka vanilla with powdery scent sometimes it could be too powdery during summer but nonetheless this is a nice one and I absolutely happy having that in my collection I, and Dior's discontinuing the Fev Delicious. It's getting hard to find. If you could find one, grab it before the price increase. Next, this is one of my favorite, favorite vanilla ever. Search Lutan Umbo Vanille. I know that I've had this quite the longest. I just absolutely adore the be beeswax, vanilla, coconut. It smells like a little bit in the same realm as Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Coconut. I absolutely adore it. It's like one of my favorite ever. So this is my vanilla. I have more vanilla scattered. Well, we'll deal with it. Okay, so next, these two rows are my Orange Blossom no, not anymore. Used to be orange blossom, but I added more Killian in it. So let me start with this one. This is um, I Don't Need a Prince by Myself to be Princess. Yeah, so this is Princess by Killian. I absolutely love it. It's a matcha tea marshmallow. Oh, by the way, you can layer Faniglia Mazzari with anything that um, sweet gourmandy marshmallowy it smells amazing with killian princess and it makes it last a long time so yeah absolutely adore it so behind that i have this perfume single malt by killian so i like this a lot this is a plum and malt perfume so it smells like plum and maybe cognac so it's boozy it's plummy it's fruity and dry down is the killian gourmandy boozy musk i absolutely adore it i smell some similarity between this one and apple brandy as well as this one and killian angel shares yeah so i absolutely adore this Actually, I should move my Killian here. Yeah, I should do that. I should move my Killian here. Okay, so next we have Angel Share. It's pretty similar to a single malt, but this one's like apple cinnamon pie with cognac and rum, I think, and whiskey. Yeah, so it's boozy and apple. Like this is like the apple version and single malt is the plum version. And that one's malt. Uh, this one's, I think, cognac. Yeah, so they both are boozy, like Killian liquor collection. Oh, next is one of my favorite perfume. 
This one is Killian Rolling in Love. This is my current favorite perfume. It's always been my favorite perfume. I just haven't bought it till recently. And this is one of the reasons why I broke my no buy. Killian Rolling in Love. Absolutely adore it. This one smells like Carolina Herrera, good girl. If you like that, you're gonna love it. I love it. I love, 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 love that one. Next, I have this Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Yeah, it's, um, it's a beautiful orange blossom, marshmallow. This is one of the perfume that's super feminine. Every time I smell it, it makes me happy. I just love Killian. I think the more I think about it, the more I realize that I absolutely adore Killian. Next, it's okay, it's getting hard to reach in. So Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. This is a rose version of Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I love this one, even though I'm not a big fan of rose, I still adore it very much. So yeah, that one's a winner. Actually, I love everything I have in this cabinet. Maybe not everything, but most of the thing. So next I have this Guimauve de Noël Par Le Moi. This is in the same realm as um, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Absolutely adore it. Okay, uh, I might have to split this video into maybe two. Mm, Par Le Moi Guimauve de Noël, absolutely adore it. This is an airier version of um, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I like it. I used to like this a lot more, but now I think I prefer Kill and Love Don't Be Shy. Next, I have this beautiful, beautiful perfume called Mizensir Trust Cherry. I absolutely adore this. This is a sexy, sexy molecular orange blossom with sandalwood and coconut. I smell coconut. I absolutely adore it. This is like one of the best orange blossom perfume, hands down. Next, I have Safanat. Safanat is officially my most favorite perfume that I wear during summer. It's just soapy orange blossom. So amazing. Whenever I wear it, smell this, it smells clean. At the same time, it smells gourmand as well. The dry down reminds me of orange pip soda, but the opening is like that strong orange blossom a little bit soapy i like it a lot during summer this is my summer scent next as you can see there i have um, yves saint laurent libre intense i adore libre but i prefer the intense version sometimes it could be a little bit too much orange blossom every time i put it on i like i'm keeping it so i think i'm gonna finish this section and i'm gonna do the other two section for next video. I'm getting tired, guys. Next, I have this Affinesse and Santal Basmati. This is a beautiful sandalwood and basmati rice scent. This is a cold leaning sandalwood. This is the only cold leaning sandalwood I have. Absolutely adore it. Um, when I say cold leaning, it's cold leaning, but it's still not cold smelling it's still sandalwood next i have this mas milano los alice this one smells like a sandalwood and carrot cake it's like a carrot cake version of sandalwood i just absolutely adore it this one lasts a long time this one's a little bit molecular i feel like there's a good dose of hedion in there you know, I don't really like Hedion, but I love this one. Maybe because the name is Lost Alice. Oh, my real name is Alice, by the way. So, and I was lost once, and therefore I think this perfume is going to stay in my life for a long time. Next, I have the Serge Luton Santal de Mysore. It's the only perfume I bought on my trip to Paris. It is so special to me. It smells like cinnamon bun. I absolutely love it. It, it's not a spray bottle. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Yeah, it's forever gonna be in my stash. Yves Saint Laurent Caban. 
This one is a um, Alamy sandalwood with a little bit of vinyl. It's just so unique. I just love it. It's so good. Next, I have Grishanel. This is a um, Hatanka bean sandalwood sand. Absolutely love it. It's really nice. Fruity. I just love this. And I have um, Santal Carmen from Atelier Cologne. Santa Jardin Sandalwood Temple. And last but not least, I have Hermetica Sandal Sun. These are my sandalwood scent. I absolutely love it. Um, Sandal, Sandalwood Temple and Santal Carmen is pretty similar. Yeah, Hermetica Sandal Sun smells really good. It also smells like carrot cake, but that one's more gourmand. I guess they both are gourmand. This has carrot cake, so is Hermetica Sandal Sun. Absolutely love them all. So I guess that's it, you guys, for this video. I'll take a break and then I'll film the others of my cabinet. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.